Hi friends, I'm Tammy Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are painting something that I kind of don't love, roses. And also this little random flower here, maybe a peony. And as far as I've heard, these flowers challenge a lot of people, which brings me to the point that maybe that's why we should paint them. So let's go. We're gonna paint these loose watercolor florals. I'll show you my style for adding two or three layers to add depth and dimension. I hope you enjoy this one. All right, guys, so today we are practicing a lot of these guys from this sheet. This was just a practice sheet that I did, um, just wanting to kind of figure out how I wanted to do roses. They are tricky. We've got all kinds of these lovely Christy Rice brushes here. So we can experiment with all kinds. Um, I'm going to start with this dagger brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and spray this down a little bit more so everything is nice and juicy. Got my paper towel over here for dabbing just to control the water because this especially holds a lot of water so we're going to get our brush wet and i've got a lot of colors on here so i'm just going to grab some and i like to start with a center that is darker and then start getting gradually lighter so we're going to start doing a larger bloom kind of like this one so really saturated paint dab it so it's not too wet and then we're just gonna start making a little, a little bit of a middle part here. So just kind of going in these little C curve shapes and then start pressing down a little bit more. What I like about this brush, I'm gonna take off some of the paint there, dab it, is that it's got that angle. And so you can make some rounded shapes and some pointy shapes with this. And we're just gonna start going around. We're making those petals and I'm not really, you know, thinking too much about the shape of that. It's just kind of coming together as we're squiggling the brush around and you can kind of do that. Um, it's a little bit daunting when you do roses and so we're just trying to play and enjoy the process and, you know, see what we can get out of it. So you can see that I keep dipping my brush in water. I'm gonna actually add some darker color back in, wet on wet here and taking off some of the paint and just making now my petals thicker bigger here pressing down and until i've got that shape of the rose i have a lot of white space that i have left and i could extend it out a little bit more i like them to be wonky i don't want them to be perfect you know flowers have their wonkiness they don't have perfect petals and symmetry now i'm going to take more saturated paint and I'm just going to go to the edge, just this inside edge where the petal starts and just, you know, dip in or poke in some color a little bit here and there. That's going to create some nice shadow and we could leave it like this or we can add in some more later when it's dry. So go ahead and take that brush, try to spread things out a little bit and we'll let it dry and we can always come back to it. Now, if you have too much white space, you can always fill it up with more color, it's that's not a problem at all. It's a little round here. I'm gonna just go like this, kind of squiggly with the brush. And there we go. So we have a large rose bloom. Let's go ahead and select a different color. So I don't usually create my roses so large, but you know, for the demonstration, it's kind of fun to try something new. So I'm gonna grab some of this lovely green here. You can see I have my warm and cool colors separate and that just helps me to keep from getting muddy colors. So I'm grabbing some black, adding that in. You can actually grab some red and add that in to darken it up if you want. Just creates a bit more of a nicer dark green that has more dimension than a flat black color. And we're gonna add in some leaves. So I was gonna do some more roses, but let's do leaves first. So with this one, same brush, and we're just going to press down and then lift off slowly. Let's do another shape like that. And, you know, I don't want like a really perfect rounded leaf. I want it to have, you know, just some bits and pieces that poke out, that look a little wonky. I want it to look unique. We're gonna add a few more on this side. And I'm starting with that pointy part of the dagger. I'm just pressing down, kind of, dabbing, you can dab, you can kind of scrub the brush as well and just like bounce it around on your paper. You can even take off some of the paint 
and do a third one here, really light. So we have some different values and a little bit of a stem connecting. So next I'm gonna to try to do a rose with a smaller dagger brush. And we're gonna start with a center. So I'm just going to stipple a few little bits right here in there. And actually, if you want to, you can add a center for this one that has that darkness. So some roses, I mean, you'll be able to see the center as the blooms have just kind of peeled away and you can see it, it's always there, but you don't always see them. Like when we paint them, we don't always include that. So I kind of like having that center. So then I'm going to clean my brush and grab some paint. I've got yellow, kind of pink, that kind of stuff. And now we're not gonna to touch that center. We're just gonna to try to kind of paint and scrub around the center, all right? Now we have a focal point. And so I'm just starting to kind of add, you know, leave some white space and just shimmy my brush around, dip, dab, and add another one over here. A little bit lighter, a little bit softer petal there as well. And I'm taking the pointy part on the outside and this is on the inside here. And I'm going to try to form some more petals here. All right, just really loose, flipping it around again. So this is on the outside and just kind of coming around and scrubbing that brush, moving it a little bit with some water and just, you know, trying to create that circular shape. It's a little bit unique to the dagger brush, a uh, little bit of white space there, and then bringing it around. So remember, you can always take away some of that white space. Let's add some orange back in a little bit here and there, but you can't, you know, recreate it. And so always good to start with more white space than you need. You can always, you can always fill that in with color, like no problem. Okay, so this is um, this is another version of our rose. Let's just do a little stem right here, a little bit of a stem here, and then maybe we're gonna do a bud. Uh, actually, let's do some leaves right here. So I just do a little bit of a dabbing there. Same on this side and then this side as well. And... I think I'll add a little bud in too, why not? Right here, a little bit of a bud. So I'll make that a little bit longer. The bud can be kind of an orange or whatever, whatever we decide. We'll see curve shape. Rose bed, we typically will have some type of like little pieces that were wrapped around the bud that kind of peel down. So before we go to the next piece, I want to take that smaller dagger and we're going to add some dimension to these petals. So I'm just gonna do much more concentrated colors. Got some orange here. Whether I'm gonna use all that or not, haven't quite decided. Sometimes I like a little mix of things. And it's good to have a large mixing space like this so that you can do that. And so this is more concentrated paint. I like to dab it more than what we had. And we're just gonna make some fun like marks over the top just for the shadows and dimension on our flowers here. So I like to start putting in some of those lines and then damp brush, dab it, just start to blend things out a little bit. If they're too, too harsh, um, it's really up to you, depending on the look that you're wanting to go for. Grabbing some more of this here. My rule is I like to kind of keep it, like I said, um, right here. If this is our petal, then the inside, kind of where it starts off, that's where my my shadow marks would go. Um, but you know, you can figure out how you wanna do it as well. So I'm trying to go for a very uneven look, just kind of randomly putting, you know, those colors down and making making my rose come to life, just having fun with it. A little bit extra dark in the center, especially, and to cover up some of that white space. All right, I like to try my hand at a side-facing rose, kind of like this. So we're basically putting in that base color and then we'll come back later and just add in more dimension as we've been doing. So just to kind of emulate that, I've got this lovely pinky color here. I'm just gonna scrub the shape of the flower that I have on here already. And 
Let's see here. So basically you're getting this first wash of color, but it doesn't really have a lot of definition until you come back in and put the definition in for that second layer. So don't be too worried and don't be too excited that it's gonna look a certain way right now. It's just kind of a big mess, but we'll come back to it. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of green too. And I'm gonna add in a stem with that one as well with a nice like leaf. So I'm just gonna kind of press for my leaves, press, and I'm using the belly of the brush. And we're gonna connect and we're gonna press again. And those are some pretty, you know, loose ways to make some leaves. Uh, the roses usually have sets of how of certain amount of leaves. We don't worry about that because we are just creating art and we're just enjoying the process, okay? I always like to remind myself and remind you, if you're ever feeling nervous about this in any way, take a deep breath. <sighs> remind yourself this is supposed to be fun, this is practice, and all the good things. All right, so as that's drying, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our filbert brush to create something like this now this isn't a rose but it's a pretty pink floral and i like using various brushes to get different looks so we're starting we've got that pink got that orange just grabbing from the palette i love mixing and randomly getting a color and <laughs> based on that so i'm just going to start adding in some petal shapes and you're gonna see as I twist and turn my brush, I'm all angling all those petals down to that center of the floral, okay? Dipping, dabbing, adding in a few more here. And that's the base of our floral. It's pretty simple that way. You can see all these really pretty shapes that we're getting when we paint like this with a brush like this. So that's gonna need some details as well and we'll let that dry and come back to it so i thought it might be fun to do one more side facing floral something kind of like this one it's a bit smaller and a little bit of a, a different technique so if i were to pick a brush i'll probably pick this dagger again and we're gonna start with let's do a little bit of purple on here and kind of mix that together for a nice shade. And so we're just um we're just going to make some little marks here, kind of always curving and pointing back towards that center, just like so. And then we can angle our brush down like this so that we can get all the angles of those petals, just like so. And I'm going to even extend these out a little bit, make them a little bit bigger. And then let's put some stems on these flowers. So this one will have a stem and this one will have a stem just like that. And then a few leaves just pressing with this brush. I'm not doing anything but just using the belly of the brush to create some lines and to create some, some shapes. And then here, same type of thing. If you need more of your paint, then grab it. And so we're gonna let these dry and we'll come back and create the details on top. So for this flower, I'm going to grab my reddish orange color. It's really brilliant. And then I'll grab a little bit of the red, one of the reds, I guess add that together. So you can see it's a lot more saturated than what we've been working with. And we'll use this to create our details. So I do grab my paint, I dab on my paper towel as is my style. And I'm going to start with creating, there we go, just some little squiggly lines at the top, just kind of emulating maybe some pretty uh, folded petals that are kind of going everywhere. And so we're not covering up that first layer, we're just adding to it. And I'm going to create a little petal shape here over the top. And I create another one over here for these flowers. And we're just making little line details to show the fluffiness of this floral. I have one right here also, just building up those petals. And it doesn't have to make sense, right? It doesn't have to be like, it's just, it should be intuitive. It should be something where you're just 
playing and creating. Um, and really, I hope you're enjoying the process. So a few more little squiggly petals for that front piece, the top piece there. And then if you want to get extra fancy, grab some of your green and just go over the top. You can just kind of press, adding a little bit more color. I like to use squiggly lines. I like to press and use the belly of the brush. I like to just keep things varied. So I hope you are relaxing and enjoying. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And guys, there's so much fun to check out. As I am prepping to put color on this one and getting some orange, I'm actually doing an art retreat in Italy this fall in October. So if you're interested in something like that, please check out the link in my, in my uh, description here. It's gonna be seven days in the south of Italy. We're going to paint, have excursions, swim in the sea, and just enjoy learning how to let go of perfectionism in our art. And I'm hoping you're doing that with me today. So you can always email me um, or send me a message if you have more questions about that art retreat. So I've got this really saturated paint and I'm just, just going over and being quite liberal with this. And I'm just pressing up, press down with the belly, lift up, use the tip, kind of sketching out, whittling out, I'm doing a bigger space here, some details for this rose. So when you first start the process, the rose doesn't really, you know, it doesn't necessarily impress you, right? You've got that base layer and you're like, okay, that's fine. It looks all right. But then when you start to add these details, things start to pop, things start to make more sense. I'm taking a clean damp brush and spreading some of this out too. And you wanna keep the white space. Some of these petals are a little round for my taste. And so I've just kind of, you know, gone through and smoothed them out a little bit if I can. All right, so, you know, you can even fill some of this white space in now that the middle is dry and that's completely, um, you know, a style choice for the person who's painting. So, which is you. All right, guys, I also have uh, Skillshare classes and those are linked in the description as well. If you've never been a Skillshare member, you can get 30 days free. So definitely check that out. And I talk about perfectionism in my courses. These are courses that are a lot longer. And we talk a lot about mental health and a lot about painting florals so far. And then finally, I've got my Patreon group. I'm just going to go through and add a little bit more dimension to some leaves. And that's where, that's a membership where you can get bonus content. So, so many things to check out, but thanks for being here on YouTube. I mean, I really appreciate you being here and playing with watercolor with me. I'm taking my filbert with more saturated paint and I'm just going back in and doing some thinner and thicker marks. And you just kind of do this really quickly. That's how I like to do it, that I'm not overthinking and I'm twisting and turning that brush, just really trying to create some pretty dimension. And so we're looking at some nice fluffy petals here because we've got the darker on top and the lighter looks like it's more receded and it just brings a lot of style and pizzazz to this flower. So I want to, before I go with this one, I want to doctor up this one just one more time. I want to show you how you can do, you know, three layers instead of two. So I've got this really thick amount of paint here. So I've gone two different shades and we're going to go a lot darker now, especially for, you know, the inside of this. I'm going really dark, just, you know, sopping on that paint and I'm doing a lot less. So thinner marks than I would you know, when I'm doing this first and second layers. And because I want to leave a lot of the original board just, you know, including a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more shadow, a little bit more color. I don't want to forget about this little guy here. We've got some beautiful pinks and purples happening. And I feel like we'll add a little bit of purple to this one. And then it's pretty saturated and I think that's going to be good. So I'm just going to kind of take that pointed part, point it down and just like sweep up. You know what? Well, no, we'll do this. I was going to change my brush. I was like, no, 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 we could do this. So we're going to add in a center to this and a little splatter and then we'll be done. So I'm just going to grab my black paint, fully 
really thick and dabbing it on the paper towel. Let's see how that goes. And some of this is still wet, so it might run, but that's okay. And we're just going to create these little lines that are just kind of curving in and little C curve shapes. And then adding in just some little dots. For the stamen, it makes this a very fancy flower. Keep them varied. They're not all gonna be at the same level. It's gonna create more of a natural look. All right, everyone's looking fun and fancy, grabbing my number 12 round. And I'm just gonna grab some very watery version, versions of this paint. So some of that will have that nice purpley pink color. And we're just gonna tap our brush just around to the white spaces. I do love splatter. Just bring some magic to the painting. And then clean the brush a little bit. Grab some orangey color here, lots of water. Tap it and then add in your splatter just in those white spaces, okay? And those are our loose florals for today. Okay, friends, we accomplished what we set out to do. We painted these flowers and I hope the experience was fun. You remember to breathe, you remember to relax and all the things. And I wish you happy painting, but also happy mental health as a therapist. And I'll see you guys soon on the next video. Oh, and remember, check out my new Skillshare course. Now I have two on there and a free 30-day trial to Skillshare if you're a new member. So check it out. And don't remember. And remember, I'm also on Patreon. Take care, guys.